you can see, we've got a parcel. Wait, I'm behind the camera. Sorry, friends. I, I'm trying to, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a beauty. Now, this is Joe Rainus. Friends, Joe Rainus, <clears throat> excuse me. If you come to Bunyan, you'll probably meet Joe Rainus. Joe Rainus, uh, I'm, I'm talking to people and I see uh, Nick Pixel over there chatting to this character. A little stallion of a man. And uh, Nick comes up and says, Buck, and this is Joe, Joe Rainus. And I'm like, he'd already been a huge impact on the channel. He sent us a, a metal saw. Team Buckin, Joe Ramos. And I think I have an idea. He showed me something that he found in a secondhand store in, in, in Fairfield, which is Connecticut, which this is very interesting, if this is what I think it is. And by the looks of the box, it is indeed... Oh my goodness. It is. They're Vibergs. These are Viberg boots. Yeah. It's one of them days, friends. You know, when you're in when you're in a good mood, you gotta put your baker's hat on. Your your baker uh, this looks like a baker's hat, doesn't it, hon? She doesn't really care, to be honest with you. She doesn't. She just puts up with my weirdness all the time. She knew that when she married me. She knew she was in for a little bit of a problem. But the interjection, friends, so y you may know that I have a boot problem, leather. Uh, I'm just that guy. Um, the cool thing about Nick's boots, and, and I'm, I'm just going to say this because I don't, I promised myself when I opened, started this YouTube channel that this would be a real place to come for people. There's, the world is saturated, especially the freaking internet, right? Social media is just saturated with, you can be a freaking professional on anything within short order now, but people smell you. So it was very important for me to be real, coming here. Because uh, what do I always say? All you got is your name. And if you destroy yourself on the internet, it's there forever. So in life. Anyways, I'm, I'm Ram Blinsky's. It just started pouring like mad, like torrential. The boot thing. Listen, we're going to talk a little bit about the boots. We got all kinds of stuff going on. But JK was the first company that reached out to me. And at, most of you know, at that time, I was cobbling together my old Vibergs to keep working. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I was cobbling them together, taking pieces from, it was nuts. But one thing about Viberg is I've always been able to just slip in them and go. It's just, it's their last. It's the way they, they make their boots, right? Uh, JK worked with me on a fit. And their fit was good, but as you may have saw, the, some of the other stuff just didn't, they just didn't work for me, but they sure filled a void for me at that time. And then, poof, Nick showed up. I got to hand it to Nick's. I, I, I do, because I'm weird to work with. I'm a little bit finicky, especially when it comes to something I've had in my, in my life for a long period of time. My reviews or my opinion of something is only has ever been from experience. If you ask me, hey, Buckin, what do you think about this saw? If I don't know about the saw, I can tell you, well, I've heard this, but I gotta be honest, I've never run one and I can't tell you, but I can tell you about a Husqvarna this or that or a still this or that or an echo. You know what I mean? I can only speak to what I know. And that goes with people too, right? Yeah, so uh, bottom line, I have no bad words for any uh, boot company, none. Uh, they reached out to me. JK is the newer company of the kind of the Spokane area, the three of them. They're, they're the new guys uh, as far as it, it goes. Um, 
And and they're they're building their business, man. That's what they're doing. And they came on strong, real strong. Uh, Nick's has been around a little longer, you know. Um, they all know each other down there, you know. Uh, everything's on the internet. And but but what Nick's did for me, uh, this last set of boots, friends, it, <laughs> love them. But but everybody knows I'm uh, I have been a Heiberg man for 25 years. I've they've been on my feet. They've been with me in my accidents. They've cut a pair off me. The last pair got cut off me, if I'm not mistaken. When I was, do you do you remember that, babe? That did they cut my boots off me? Yes. They did. They, did, yeah. they cut my Vibergs off me, and it was a sad day. They were my, they were my corks, Culks. and they cut them off me because my leg was snapped in half and that was just the way life was and my back was all smashed to pieces so they didn't want to they so they just they cut them off me um that was a sad day and i think they cut one of my good shirts off me too which sucked but anyways um this is just a, a little video uh, of of uh, a little bit more boot stuff and this is not a knock at at any company uh or or anything they do because they've all been uh, their own way with me and that's their way. So I get asked a lot from people, hey, Buck and how are the Knicks? Or, you know, where's the JK boots? Did you wear? Well, I have said it and I will say it again. They, they didn't work for me. They just, they just didn't work for me. That, that's it. There's no more to say. So JK was fine. They were fine. But I've really been impressed with Knicks. I honestly have. And I, I can't speak to whites. People ask me about whites boots. I've never had a set of whites boots, so I can't speak to them. What I do know is that Viberg has been my best boot, straight goods. And the fact that Nick's boots would try and build, did you guys see that video they, they did where they made the nail down construction? They do it like right in, they show, they even show the, the cork boot. It says Viberg right on the cork. This company's not, they're, they're super smart friends. They, they, they are, they're smart, they're willing to, show their mistakes, they're not ego-based. I'm was. i just really impressed, I, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm, I'm impressed, like Ripsaw, these guys, they just wanna build a good product. Everybody's building their name. You know, they wanna build something, and, and I prefer to do business with people that are honest and forthright and just upfront with stuff, you know? You can see it, you can feel it. So, kudos to Nick's. But anyways, uh, I'm freaking loving them boots. But you'll notice in this video that the, the, the size of the JK boot, they were massive. They were like a snowshoe. Here, here's just a, a regular old, I mean, friends. Uh, I've never heard anywhere any logger say that, oh, I like a, a wide, huge footprint. I, I've never, just never heard it here that, that doesn't <laughs> when you're walking law you, you you don't want that that's not what you want especially in a cork boot and that that actually didn't work for me and you guys will hear me say once in a while about oh i've heard people say they they like the the, the wide stance no faller's ever said that no no faller i know has ever said oh i like this platform this snowshoe style boot no never heard it not here depends on what you're doing maybe, maybe you just no, I, I've, I've just never heard that stuff. So, but I'm just one fella. Let's get back to the video. I hadn't run my standard trucks. I was driving Rita's. You know why, right? Yeah. I've just been able to start turning gears in the last week. <laughs> Little over a week, but a week. I'm talking about shifting gears, friends, in my trucks. When I fired Myrtle up, I was just like, oh. <laughs> I just love that truck so much. She's so tight now. Appreciate, like, old Myrtle here. Like, like look at the, the, the wheel. It's so tight, this truck. <laughs> Let's get into the video. I'm a ramble artist. Ramble artist. Uh, th this is crazy. 
I mean, I hate to say it, but I kind of, yeah, these will be it. But you know that, oh, this is funny. So this is very interesting to me, and I want to point this out to people right now, okay? This is very interesting. A lot of people don't understand this or, or don't, don't, oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is, this is glorious, actually. This is amazing, Joe. And he cracked himself again with a power saw right there. You can see he actually cut. Yeah, he did. He tagged the metal bottom. See that right there? He tagged it with a power saw. That is a power saw cut. I know because I've, I've done it. Right there is a power saw cut. And he did it like this. He had it on this foot and he just cracked. He was limbing probably. I think these are stitch out, friends. I think this is a stitch out construction. Let's look. Clip. You can see there's still, there's even, yeah. Look at the elastic these guys make, just solid. He wore those right out, them toes. My toes are right there. I can't believe this, Joe. These, these are sweet, straight up sweet. This is the closest they've ever come to a fit. Bang on. Listen, a couple interesting things going on with this truck. I uh, I did a Marty's report or whatever it's called, the Marty's. I'm gonna give that guy a big shout out. They do like, I'm gonna be able to tell how many of these trucks were made and, and all the one-off things like the bucket seats, the nine foot steps, everything. It's called a Marty Report or something like that. There's a guy on YouTube who is a high boy and a bump side maniac. He does phenomenal work. Matt, uh, I've been talking with him. He's such a good guy. I, I'm gonna give him a shout out. Uh, I'll get his channel and all that. We'll, we'll, I'll bring some attention to him because this guy knows his business. And he, I, t I reached out to him a while back about Myrtle. And he goes, is that a Merc? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh man. He said, we didn't get those. I said, I know. And uh, listen to her friends. Oh, this truck. I mean, I've had these trucks for years. I read his trucks over there at her place right now. We got to get one of those mobile windshield guys that comes and uh, like it needs a windshield. It's got a crack in it. I don't think they let that fly. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But anyway, friends, listen. I fell in love with Myrtle all over again when I took her across Canada with uh, Morgan. Sorry, I, I, I just did. It, it ah gosh, it, for, for her to, look at how straight she is. I mean, look, look at, friends, there's no, friends, I, I'm, I'm serious. This truck is solid. It's solid. Super sound. Uh, the high boy here is super sound as well, uh, but it, it's a different animal than, than that, that turtle there. See that? Four boys are different. They got a lot more on the go. They're up, so they ride differently. They, they, it's just everything's different. I'll tell you a nice, a nice high boy that I had. It was actually the last year of the high boys, and it was actually, it was actually, friends, built in February 1977. So if any of you know the High Boys story, that was it for High Boys. That was the end of it. It was over in 1977. So if you've got a 78 or a 79 and you think you've got a High Boy, you don't. You have a Low Boy. We have three. We have two High Boys on the property. That thing and, and Hogan's Crew Cab. 73 High Boy. Crew Cab. Deadly. 
and a two-wheeler course over there but anyways i'm just warming up the merc anyway i'm heading to frank the boot man not frank's boots obviously frank he's worked on vibergs and all kinds of boots for like 25 freaking years i like the guy's gnarly listen to her it's time to go that truck's hot i'm rolling okay so you, you know what i noticed right away on this truck when i drive this truck friends people you know i was talking to my buddy matt matt how are you he's like uh yeah the one tons a eh? they're they're hard on the road what did he say good on the load hard on the road and i i understand what he's saying matt i do but when you don't have anything to compare it to <laughs> i've been in these this is the smoothest truck i got it's the smoothest riding truck i got look at the steering friends like those other trucks, I'm talking, you know what I mean? Friends, look at 6,060. This guy, Matt Kubik, friends, I, I, don't, I don't ask for much from you folks. This guy's huge on Instagram, but he, look, six days ago, nine days, he's very active on YouTube. This dude knows these trucks every nut and freaking bolt he's a great guy i want to go and see this guy go to his latest video visit him tell him buck and billy ray sent you over and go see this fella look at him friends he's he's a master at this stuff i see a collaboration in our works friends Let's go over and give this man some love. He works super hard at this stuff. He, he's big on Instagram. I think he's like, he's big. So check him on Instagram too. I'll see if I can get links in the description. I want to go support this guy on his YouTube and his Instagram too. But follow this fella if you're into these trucks and just good, good natured, hardworking folk. I really like this fella. Uh, Matt Kubik. Let's go see him. Myrtle is... She's gold, absolute gold. I love Myrtle. I, I haven't ridden her for a while. I couldn't. I'm not joking, friends. Please go, 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 go say hi to him on that video where he's sitting on that freaking chair there answering questions. Go check him out. Drop in his comments. Let's pump some subscribers up for him. Give him a boost. The dude sitting here, he's got eight comments on this video. Eight comments. Let's go freaking spice it up for him. Change gears. I couldn't. A two-wheel drive four-speed. You've got to love a two-wheel drive four-speed, friends. Now that's a truck. Oh, yeah. Straight goods. Remember that auto I had that, that I should have kept that truck, but I had too much on the go at once. That's the only, one of the regrets I have is getting rid of that one ton that I sold friends. I gave it away actually. I never sold it, I gave it away. I paid $200 for it and I gave it away because the head gasket blew. That's what happened to that truck. Oh, Myrtle, what a sweetheart. See, now I can actually change gears. I can still feel it though. Here, let's turn this off. There we go. Myrtle is such a sweet driving truck. Listen, don't be afraid to get your hickory stick out. Just get an old stick and axe handle. If, just leave her in the truck. Friends, listen to this thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome okay. to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. We love seeing you come in. BuckandBillyRay.com for any of the merchandise, the t-shirts, ball caps, patches, stickers, New design coming soon. Thanks to everybody for watching. Friends, work hard, be honest, and be kind. I'll catch you on the next one.